Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this Syria map video, we'll be taking a helicopter tour of the Damascus area. We'll start in airfield to the west of the city, we'll fly low altitude through the city and see some of the sites, then we'll fly down to the international airfield, as well as stopping at one of the helicopter bases along the way. One of the best things about this map is the attention to detail that Ugrin Media has put into the low altitude environment. And this includes hundreds of types, unique buildings, trees, bushes, and the vegetation, as well as very high resolution textures. When seen from a helicopter at low altitude and high speed, it really gives you a sense of immersion that you've probably never experienced before. Let's get started. So here we are in the mission editor. And in the previous video, we started here at Ramat David and we took off, we hit some uh, Syrian targets that have incurred into the Golan Heights and bombed them. But for this little video, we're gonna be moving the map location up to the Northeast to Damascus, which is one of the oldest uh, populated cities in the entire world. Um, it's located on the foothills of the anti-Lebanon mountain range. And the basic synopsis of this video is going to be us transporting a VIP from Zah Airfield in the west-southwest portion of the city. Uh, we'll go to Umayyad uh, Fountains, take a look at a couple tourist traps, and then we'll follow the main highway from the city to the international airport. But along the way, we'll stop at uh, Kabar al Seat uh, helicopter uh, base. So let's take a look at this in the game. All right, so welcome to Mazah Airfield in western Damascus. Taking a look around the airbase. Oh, what's that hind doing there? So we're in our MI-8. We're going to go ahead and do a short little taxi roll takeoff. And we can see we have some other MI-8s uh, stationed around the airfield. Uh, come off to the uh, east, take a look at the airfield a bit. In addition to civilian elements, there's also military elements, including hardened aircraft bunkers, at this airbase. So it's not unusual for the Iranians to deploy aircraft uh, to Syria. And we see we have some Iranian MiG-29s uh, calling the space home for the day. Okay, approaching the outer gate of the airfield. And now we're going to the suburbs uh, west of Damascus. And as you can see, just the uh, level of detail, uh, the objects, the textures, uh, just really well done by Google Media. Okay, coming to the uh, north now, more towards the uh, downtown section. Now you may notice uh, well ahead of us on the top of the mountain ahead is the uh, Syrian presidential palace. And I uh, can't see it from here, but between the gap and behind those hills is also the uh, Syrian tomb of the unknown soldier. Okay, coming to the uh, east again, to the uh, downtown section uh, of Damascus. Now 
Now the uh, large building directly ahead is the uh, Sheraton, and beyond that is the Umayyad Fountains, with the Sword Monument uh, right beyond it. Uh, directly to the left is the Al Asad Library. And coming down the boulevard, and then approaching up here to the right is the Mazar Rose. The interesting building uh, directly below the gun site. And further up just a bit to our left is the Four Seasons Hotel. And beyond that directly ahead is the Damascus Tower. Now directly ahead and a bit to the right is the Great Umayyad Mosque. A lot of fine detail in there. And next, just up ahead and to the left, is St. Mary's Church. At this point now, we'll head off to the south and find the main highway down to the International Airport which is directly ahead of us here. So there's certainly uh, many more actual landmarks that Uber Media has put in Damascus, but will allow you the joy of discovering a lot of these yourself. As you may have also noticed, there's many types of buildings within Damascus itself. Uh, for example, here on the right, we have more industrial type buildings. On the left, we have more residential. And earlier, we passed over a lot of uh, larger uh, commercial business type buildings. Okay, at this point, let's uh, bring the altitude down a little bit. Now, as mentioned in the previous video, uh, agricultural like orchards here are actually are individual pieces of vegetation, which really give a nice sense of uh, speed and detail when down low like this. I think it's also important to note that Damascus probably by far is the most taxing performance wise of any area on the map but with the proper balance of settings the performance and visuals are quite good as I think this demonstrates. At this point now I have the Kabir seat uh, helicopter base up ahead so I'm going to come off to the uh, the west and I'll do a little fly over that. As mentioned earlier, this is uh, one of three helicopter bases south of Damascus, which Uger has put a, um, again, a really nice level of detail into. Okay, pitching up a bit. And left boot. And I bring the nose over. And there's the helicopter base, and we'll do a little flyby. Okay, heading uh, east again, let's go ahead and uh, pick up the main road back to the airport.
So at this point we'll basically be uh, paralleling the main road to the highway until we get to Damascus International, but we'll use this opportunity to do a little low flying. And at least for me, uh, this is where this map really shines for the helicopter pilots among us. Uh, particularly with the uh, MI-24 coming down the pipe, and who knows, maybe an Apache someday. So after seeing this video, we also hope that it better explains why this map has taken a bit longer than we all initially thought it would be. Uh, Uger has put just a tremendous amount of time and detail into this, but that extra time has really paid dividends in creating something pretty special. At this point, I'll be uh, quiet for a bit and let you really enjoy what Uber has accomplished. At this point, we transition to a much more arid, more desert environment than the area around Damascus, and this is reflected in both the textures as well as the buildings. Okay, let's go ahead and follow this uh, side uh, access road down a bit further to the south. At this point, we're going to cross over into the airfield proper, and this part of the airfield tends to have a bit more of the military operations. And in fact, we have a looks like a SAM site up here ahead of us. And one thing you may notice uh, that Uber did a really nice job with when you compare to, like, say, Google Earth, is that all the revetments, all the berms are modeled in all the different airfields, particularly in Syria. And it just gives it a much more accurate look and feel. Now, up ahead here, we have a SA6 SAM site. And we'll come to the right, and we'll pass over some of the hotels by the International Airport. And beyond that directly head is the airport proper with the uh, terminal and tower. Now in addition to the uh, civilian operations here at Damascus International, uh, there's also a pretty sizable military contingent as well, evidenced by uh, hardened aircraft bunkers and a military section of the airfield. So I very much hope you enjoyed this video and got to know Damascus a little bit better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.